Hey there, I'm Killjoy, and this is a game called Missed Messages. This is a point-and-click visual novel, I believe, made by the same developer who made You Left Me and I Woke Up Next to You Again, as well as a few other really high-quality visual novels. Anyway, it's a video game. We're gonna play it. Okay, so just a warning up front. There are mentions of suicide and self-harm in this game. Perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. I'm oh, okay, I feel like we're just, we jumped right into a conversation or something. What is going on? There is music in my ears. Oh. Fuck yeah. That's jazzy as shit. I like it. Okay. Got a laptop. We got tea. That's great. We got flags. Fantastic. Cactuses. Cacti. Marvelous. A door. We're fucking loaded. A mirror. Great. And then uh, two doors. Fuck, man, we must be rich as hell. Alright, well, let's get to work on the laptop. Ah, I need to work. I'm so bored. I can't focus. Work stuff. AX plus B- Shh! AX plus BY plus CZ equals D. What even is a four-dimensional ship? Huh? Okay. What's this? Should I accept it? Goff GF's iPhone wants to send you a note. Oh man, I love my big titty Goff girlfriend. Accept that. I said accept the nice meme. So cute. Um, we're gonna send the meme back. One of our own. Thank you for dog. I wonder if she'll respond. I don't know. Let's boot up Discord. Maybe we can fuck around in Photoshop a little bit. I don't really know anything about a Mac, and I feel like this is a Mac. Oh, she's she sent us a note. Okay, you're welcome, Hart. So, Pastel Princess's MacBook Pro, what are you up to? Um, uh, existential crisis. Existential crisis, my dude. What about you? Oh, I just realized that fuck ton of time has passed. Um, yeah, let's accept that. Oh, I feel you. I hope I'm not distracting or bothering you. Let me know if you ever want to have crises together. I'm currently procrastinating on some work with makeup. Let's see the makeup. Thank you, you're sweet. Let's see the makeup. I'm sure you worked hard on it. I'm guessing I have to wait now. Oh, here we go. I accept your picture. Tell me I'm beautiful, mother- Ah, uh, hey. You're the cutest. This is- this is fucking adorable. Um, what do we have here? More memes? <laughs> I want you wrapped in my arms like a burrito. Be my bay -rito. Oh my god, no you? You're so cute. Go out with me. Sure. Yes, want to meet me later tonight outside my room. 206. I'm gonna get shot. We're off to a great start. <laughs> yes, I'll see you. Okay. We just spent like seven hours in the span of four minutes. That's how you pass the time. Later that night, I went out to meet Goff GF. Before I left, my roommate opened her door. Oh, that's the other door. You're leaving? When will you get back? Eh, probably after nine. Oh. Why? Um, no reason. Okay, bye then. Wait. Um, before the day ends, happy birthday. You remembered? <laughs> no one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course I remembered. She sang for me sweetly. Thank you. No, thank you for being my friend. Why would I? Why would I respond with what? <laughs> um, I feel like that's rude if I do that. So let's just say bye. Thanks for being my friend too. Aw. <laughs> I'll see you later. Goodbye. Okay. I met up with Goth GF. She told me her name, Amy. We walked to the roof, laid out a blanket, and watched the stars. Let's focus on the sky. The sky's gorgeous tonight. I know, right? I'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the sky is in pretty colors. What do you think of when you look at the sky? Nothing. For once. Only a feeling. Damn. Nothing. You know when your mind is constantly noisy? I look at the sky and I realize it's 
so much bigger than me. My problems mean nothing compared to it. My mind quiets. That's so poetic. Um, let's talk about the fine arts. So you're in the makeup. Hell yeah, I am. God, can you imagine being so powerful that you can transform into different people? I feel like this is two different conversations we're having here. I'm just talking about makeup. You're talking about becoming a different person. I suppose, though, that the two could be similar in a way, if you think about it, in that sort of, like, philosophical way. I'm going to keep playing the game now. Because I can. God is a woman. Sure, yeah, why not? <laughs> Um, expensive? Now let's do a makeup artist. Have you thought about being a makeup artist? You think I'm not talented? You're sweet. God, that'd be amazing. The competition is fierce, though. I'll just stick with it as a hobby. That's fair. If you ever need someone to practice looks on, I volunteer as tribute. You're a beautiful canvas. I'll definitely take you up on that. Fuck yeah, let's do it right now. Kick me up. Kick me up, baby. Alright, um... Airdrops. So how many strangers did you airdrop besides me? Everyone that showed up. <laughs> Maybe five? Did you meet all of them? Nah, only you. I'm the only one? You were also the only one to send something back. <laughs> huh, why did you reply? I don't know, bored? Wanted to meet people? Meet people? Yeah, I have lots of friends, but I want more. You greedy. Especially close ones. You don't have enough right now? Well, I used to have close friends, but we grew apart. Yeah, that kind of happens. I feel you. It's always sad when someone you share close personal moments with grows distant. Yeah. It's left a void in my heart. You know? I try to fill it by meeting new people. Talking, dating, sleeping around. Oh, is that what we're doing? <laughs> but no matter how many people I meet, I'm still lonely. Filling the void. Is that what you're doing right now? Trying to fill the void with me. Maybe. Yeah. Close friends who you can trust. Anytime. Anywhere. They're the best. But there's going to be times where you have none. During those times, I try to improve myself and learn to love the version of me that is now alone. Huh. Learning to love yourself is hard. Yeah. Well, I exhausted all my options, I guess, so let's let time pass. As the sky darkened, I grew addicted to Amy's smile. It's getting late. We should head back. Aw. Aw. You're cute. Goodbye, kiss? Sure, why not? It's like 10 o'clock. It's the perfect time for it. There were no sparks, but it felt comfortable. Nice. You're the cutest. Get back home safe. I'll airdrop you later. I had turned my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. Oh no. Oh shit. I somewhat expected this to happen. I wondered because of what was mentioned in the beginning. Okay. Sorry, mom. There's some more pressing matters. When I came back home, I felt cold. Nervous. But I didn't know why. Oh, no. So that's why she was like that. I should, uh... Uh... Is it this door? Don't come in. Call the police. They'll know what to do. Love, May. Don't come in the room. Um... I feel like... I feel like I have to open the door. The door felt heavier than usual. As I opened the door... Fuck. I saw the body hanging, the smell, the sight, there was no blood, but I felt blood on my hands. I found myself looking down on the scene, 
myself, her. The police that eventually came, a disembodied feeling. And heard myself scream endlessly. Well, shit. Fucking hell, man. My disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in this surreal circus I found myself in. I overheard strangers and friends alike talk. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? The second floor. You probably don't know her. May? No, but that sucks. Most pity the way she went, but didn't miss her. But I remember her smile, her laugh, the way she'd be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for her and them. I couldn't help it. I hoped she was still here. It was only during the funeral that the reality sunk in. At the funeral, I heard her singing. Now sad and slow. Her singing when everyone else forgot and her not being there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crashed down to reality. The pain hit. This time I felt the anesthesia of shock. This was real. She was dead and we were putting her in the ground. The end. Missed. No one saw it coming. Could I have? Was there a message I missed? I take it when I was getting my rocks off with the hot girl, my hot goth GF that I just met. She, uh, took her own life, and it looked like it was only less than an hour before the end. So maybe if I had just left sooner, come back and might have been able to stop it. Now, I'm going to I'm going to say right now though that this game has multiple endings. I believe there's 5, I think. This is just one. So, I'm going to go and try and find all of them if I can. Obviously, I think this is the worst ending. At least I hope this would be the worst ending. I can't possibly imagine how it would get any darker from here, but I mean, there's always a possibility. Well, anyway, that's f it's fucking sad, man. All right. Um Let's we'll see you with the second one then. Oh. What's this? A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May, is, is that you? Come back. She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hail. As if she was going somewhere better. As if she hadn't heard my voice, lost in the blizzard. Don't go, please. Don't go alone. She disappeared into the snow. I had missed my chance. Huh. Oh. Oh! Did I just like wake up from a dream? I wake up in a cold sweat, fearful, but not sure why. My day is repeating. Okay, I get it now. Somewhat. I, I, I somewhat get this now. All right. What was that about? This is a much better way to connect it than just simply ending it and starting over again. Never mind that. I should start working. No. Let's see if we can talk to May. My roommate's door. She used to keep it open. Now it's usually closed. I remember that dream I had. Yeah, so she fucking kicked down the door and go and, like, spend the rest of the day with her so she doesn't do anything she'll regret. Well, I mean, I guess she's dead, so she can't really regret it, but, you know. No, I can't do that. Okay. My only choice then probably is to work, go and meet with the goth girlfriend, and then stop, like, halfway and come home early, and then maybe... Maybe I can make it in time. I'm going to check out the mirror first, though. I'm serving looks today. The I just woke up look. Yeah, I do that every day. It's a great look. I love tea. And that's the tea.
Okay. Is there anything else I can interact with around here? The door to the outside world. Let's go to the bathroom. Let's take a nice shower. I mean, it's like one, one o'clock in the afternoon. I do what I gotta do, then go back. Okay. <laughs> um, the outside world, not today. Oh, what's these? What are these papers? <laughs> and you got the Monica Magica. My precious Monica Magica poster. Which really is just a printout. God, they're cute. They are. And some notes from my friend and roommate May. Who is both distant and a total sweetheart. Wait, I didn't get to read the notes. I want to read the notes. You alright? Love May. Hope midterms went well. I uh, got you a boba. It's in the fridge. You alright? And then we got the, the glorious fucking poster. Alright. Uh, the flags? To let my crush know that I'm not just being nice when I say they're cute. Oh. Oh, I get what you mean. Okay, yeah. You're, you're, you're hitting on them. <laughs> uh, man, I wanna, I wanna laugh and everything, but like, remembering what happened there is just fucked. Oh. I'm so bored I can't focus. Okay, so yeah, we're repeating. We have music here, I guess. What's this? Should I accept it? Okay, this time... I'm not going to accept it at all. I'm gonna stay right here, and I'm not going anywhere. We're just working. Um, let's... Does this change the background? Oh. What's that? I kind of like that better. It's like raw and gritty sounding. It's my kind of my kind of jam. <laughs> All right, so we're supposed to work, right? So let's let's do work. A X plus B Y plus C Z equals D. Yeah, I'm getting nowhere with this. Can I open Photoshop, Discord, got Spotify. Oh yeah, that's weird. And I hear voices. Seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. Let's take a knock. Door of my roommate, May. Getting closer, I hear voices. Um, listen. Although my Chinese was bad, I could still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one. Thailand Lei, Wei Shen Mibu. I I'm butchering fucking languages. Too lazy. Why don't you? My mother's fast. Lecturing Chinese sometimes paused for May's soft murmur of affirmation, then continued. I felt like I was listening to something I shouldn't have. So I distanced myself from the door. Um, should I just hang around then? Maybe make some tea? Sometimes, when I don't know what to do, I make tea. I don't know what to do, so make some fucking tea. Sometimes I sip tea and fantasize about living a quiet life in a small lighthouse while writing poetry by candlelight. That's fucking poetic. And it's passing the time. Tea is perfect on a day like this. Beautiful. Quiet. Calm. Can I drink it? I wanted to be a cat lady, but I can't have pets in the building, so instead I settled for plant mom. That's fair, I see you got a lot of them. Laptop then, fine, fuck it, will work. No, I'm, 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 I'm not doing anything with the goth girlfriend. What's this? Should I accept it? No, decline it. We're staying here, we're gonna be here for our roommate, okay? She's not gonna die on our watch. And I'm gonna be pissed off then if that... If the goth girlfriend dies in exchange, and, it's, and I gotta balance the two, that's gonna be annoying. I still hear voices. Check the mirror, I don't know. This outfit must have cost less than $50. One of my friends paid 240 for a shirt. I can't relate. Same, I never pay more than like 20 bucks for something to wear. Except shoes, I paid like 60 for those. That was just, it was like a special occasion though. They had memory foam. Fucking rad. I'm an avid collector of useless books from questionable authors, such as Memes to Tell Your Grandma by Mark Ronnie. <laughs> okay. I'm a collector of useless titles such as Piracy for Dummies and 100 Whale Puns. Those don't sound useless, they sound fantastic. Keep reading. <laughs> can I- can I go in now? Please? I get a weird feeling. I wonder if I should check up on her. Yes! Knock that fucking door down. Hello? Yes. Um. Shit. What should I say? <laughs> Looking for something. <laughs> uh. Now let's ask her if she wants to hang out. I want to hang out in my room? And do what? I don't know. Talk? But 
I have work to do. Take a break. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Oh, huh. I could use a break to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a sec. You know, why don't we just romance her? She's right, she lives right next to us. It's close access. We're, 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 we're right there, you know? We could split the cost then, fuck it. Rent the room out to someone else. She lives in here. Easy peasy. She went back into her room to get something. When she came back, we laid on my bed, looking out at the setting sun. Um, let's talk about the stuffy. So what are you holding? Oh, my pug. <laughs> I call him Potato. Aw, he looks so well loved. Yeah, he is. My dad gave me him. That's so sweet. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? <laughs> I forgot. You remembered? Of course I did. Happy birthday to you. She sang me happy birthday. Aw, thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. I think that's I think that's pretty typical with age. I think especially when you hit your 20s. I know that happened to me. When I got to like 18, I was like, oh fuck yes, my 18th birthday now. And actually, no, not even my 18th. It was like my 19th because then I could drink liquor, at least in Canada. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'm 19, woo, party, whatever. And then once you hit like 20, 21, all that, just blurs together sort of I'm assuming that's only just gonna progress as as the years go on but I, I think that's okay it's kind of supposed to happen a birthday doesn't hold the same merit as it did when you were like nine years old going on 10 years old or like 12 going on 13 or something like that no one else had remembered it either but she had um let's dream I had a weird dream Oh? What? It was about you, actually. It was kind of haunting. Oh my god, I need to hear this. You were in a snowstorm? And I called for you, but you didn't hear me. And I lost you. Huh. What does it mean? I have no idea, but it, it stuck with me. Oh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. Here. If you're still scared by bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Aw, oh, you do that for me? Of course. Um, what do you dream? What are your dreams like? Oh, disturbing. Someone always dies. Like, my most recent one, it featured you, actually. In a bad or good way? Good. Go on. <laughs> There was a massive epidemic. It was going to wipe out the world. I got infected. I was going to die. Then you discovered the cure and I was saved. Wow, that's scary. I always knew I was going to save the world. Yeah, Dreamy really saved me. Hmm. I don't know if I should touch on the subject of parents or not. Let's just ask how she is. So, how have you been? Fine. Just tired. Oof, big mood. How so? I don't know. Like a bone-deep tiredness. Day after day. Depressed? Do you think you're depressed? Um. Maybe. I took antidepressants a long time ago. I felt like they didn't work. That sucks. Maybe it's the type of antidepressant? That's That could be true. There are countless fucking antidepressants out there. And from my experience, and from the experiences I've heard of others, usually there's only like one or two that actually work for a person or could work, and a lot of the others end up causing the opposite effects. It's really just fucking trial and error. And, you know, it can be argued that doctors use you as a fucking guinea pig or something, but... There's really no other way to determine what one works and what one doesn't, so... I don't know. Maybe you need to try a different one. Uh... Don't take my advice. Actually, I know nothing. <laughs> Me neither. Not just about this, but in general. 
Oof. <laughs> Same. Has it gotten better? The tiredness? Not really. By now, I kind of just want to die. Oh. Um. We're not gonna... It's understandable, but I don't want to convince her to do that. So let's just, let's talk about suicidal. Are you suicidal? Um. Oh my god, sorry, was that too blunt? Feel free to not answer. No, you're good. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. Feel like we all do, though. I imagine how it'll go down. How it'll look, smell, the aftermath. Whether anyone would care that I was gone. Not just about how I went. Huh. I partially agree that we've all thought like that at some point. I imagine 99% of people have. There are some who probably say they haven't. Mostly, and maybe they haven't. You know, that's more power to them. And I know that a lot of, like, depression actually comes down to genetics. And that, like, a lot of people are genetically predisposed to depression. There's no cure for it. You just have to... <laughs> in, in blunt terms and in fucking you know, asshole -ish terms, push your way through it. Like, there's not much else you can do. Talking to people helps, whether it's just friends, family, strangers, whatever. Okay, um, how? How would it go down? Do you really want me to talk about it? I'd probably cry. Oh, you're right, never mind. Actually, it's probably better for her to talk about it. <laughs> I know, you're awkward around crying people. Hey. Me too. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Gun policy makes it hard to get a gun around here. If I owned a gun, I'd probably be dead a long time ago. I'm scared of other methods. I might survive, and if I do, the pity people would feel, the brain damage I'd have, it's scary. Well, I'm glad you're alive. You're gonna make me cry. Maybe it's selfish, but I'm really glad you're scared. I don't want you to go. You mean a lot to me. Thanks. Um... We're, we're getting we're getting closer here. That's that's a good sign. That's a great sign actually. Um, I don't really want to stare outside. Let's. Should I bring up the parents? I don't know. I feel like if I bring up the parents, it's gonna signify that I was listening, and then she might get pissed. But then you still want to talk about it because that's like a major cause or something. Ah, it's hard, man. It's hard to bring up these things in the proper order with people so that they don't get, like, mad or throws them further into what they're feeling and then they and then they go and do something like that. It's like, it's like you, got, you gotta go in with the proper strategy, right? Alright, fuck it, I'm gonna talk about the parents. Oh yeah, what were those noises about? Hmm? Earlier, in your room. Ah, uh, my mom called. Sorry, did I bother you? No, she sounded really angry, though. Yeah, uh... Ah, shit, we moved apart. She and I... Is everything okay with you two? I don't know. Every time my mom calls... I feel sick. Angry. Wanna talk? Do you wanna talk about it? Talk about what? And why she makes you feel like that? Why she makes you feel that way? <laughs> you sound like a therapist. That's because I am. I'm a therapist in training. Actually, I'm not. I'm just here. Fucking talk to me. How are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? I just want to help you. Yeah. I know. I... I was always the golden child. When I was young, I was good at everything. So my parents never pushed me to work hard at anything. I feel you on that one a little bit. As I grew up, I started lagging behind because I didn't put in effort. The only thing I would put effort into was writing. They yelled at me whenever they caught me writing. Writers weren't engineers or doctors. 
writing would never make money. Now my life is slowly falling apart, and instead of listening to me and helping me, my parents are yelling at me for wasting time playing games. Wow. Thank you for telling me this. That's fucked. Thanks for listening. That is pretty fucked. <laughs> um, let's talk about your writing. What did you write about? And before your parents made you stop. Oh my god, it's embarrassing. You can tell me. Okay, you won't laugh? I promise. Harry Potter fanfiction. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, you gotta start somewhere, right? When, when, you're just, when you're just writing. And what's the easiest thing to write about? You write what you know. So if you're, if you're invested in a universe of some sort, you take the characters that are already established and you write them how you would see fit. If it involves two of them fucking by chance, then hey, more power to you. That's, that is the power of the creative process. Okay, if, if you want fucking Ron and Harry to get it on in the back of a barn, if you want Fred and George to like get it on with some incest, then more fucking power to you. You, you write the shit out of that. Just make sure the spelling's okay because I've read a lot of terribly written stuff. Well, like the plots are okay. But the grammar fucking sucks. And it makes it hard to read. So if you're gonna if you're gonna write like that, that's fine. Just make sure it's well written, okay? Alright. <laughs> you said you wouldn't laugh. Sorry. I'm just surprised. Don't be ashamed, that's awesome. I love Harry Potter. Uh, if you say so. I do say so. Okay. Um What fanfiction? What exactly did you write? I was working on one fic. I had like 20,000 words before I stopped. That's like a fucking novella right there. I know because I fucking wrote shit like that too. Well, maybe not fan fiction, but I wrote stories of that length in the past. It was Harry Potter. If Harry was evil, gay, and promiscuous. See? Fucking told you. It's right there. That's fine. Oh my god. I know, embarrassing. But back then, I was proud. It had character arcs and a main plot and everything. <laughs> no, that's brilliant. All the hours you must have put into it is mind-blowing. Yeah, it takes a long time to write that kind of stuff. If you ever dig it up, I'd love to read it sometime. Oh, thanks. I've lost inspiration for that one. But maybe I'll show you something else I'm working on. I, I like how, like, even though we drift further apart, we get back close together afterwards. That's good, you know? That's good. What's that? What are you working on? Hmm. A script for a game. That's so cool. What game? Like, a psychological game? A relatable game? A game where the writing is actually realistic. I could date an anime waifu that I can actually see myself in real life, meeting, dating, and maybe U-hauling with it. U-hauling? <laughs> like, you ever meet someone and the two of you undeniably click? So much so that you U-Haul your stuff to a place so that you can live together? Oh my god. Yep. I feel that in my bones. Good luck. I hope you make that game. Thanks. I'm not sure if I ever will though. It'll be hard and I don't know how I'll fund it. Go fund me. <laughs> Patreon. Easy. People will, eat, people will eat that shit up. There you go. Just sell it. There you go. Thousand dollars a month. You're good. I'll probably just get a boring but well-paying 9 to 5 job like my parents want me to. Okay, so... Let's try staring outside. We didn't do that yet. This is relaxing, but I'm also getting tired. <laughs> really? I'm wide awake. I think I'm just tired in general. How so? Do you ever feel like every day is the same day? Kind of. It's a satisfying sort of monotony. A day where I stay inside, windows open with tea and a good book is the good shit. Oh. Do you not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like I wake up, do things I don't enjoy, and go to sleep. Then do it all over again. Huh. Let's talk about the things she does enjoy. It's cliche, but why not do what you love? 
It's not that easy. If I knew what I love doing, I'd be doing it by now. But I don't know what I want to do. Hmm. I'll help you. I'll help you. We'll figure this out. I'll try out every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. Thank you. Why are you so good to me? Because I'm worried about you and I care about you. I want you to feel better. Okay, I think it's safe now to let time finally pass. We talked more about everything and nothing. From TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we knew it, evening dawned. I gotta go. I have work. Yeah, good luck. I'm always down to hang again. <laughs> Yay. Thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also had work, I didn't regret talking with May one bit. Okay, so it's five o'clock now. I'm hoping... Hey, the door's open again. Huh. That's a good sign. May's door is open. I wonder where she is. Well, I mean... Wait, she said she was going back to check the bathroom. Fuck. I opened the door to my roommate, May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. God damn it. Uh, um. Ah. Uh, mm, um. I, I'm gonna take those for a second, okay? Alright. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I. Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I, I I need to go. Um, we'll jump straight to the hug. Wait, don't go. Can I hug you? She nodded silently and we headed back to my room. She didn't want someone accidentally seeing her like this, like I had. I hugged her. I wanted to say something, yet didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. Um, I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. Especially you. You're so kind. I made soothing motions on her back. Why are you sad? I don't know. I... I don't really want to talk right now. That's okay. I'm here for you. I'm not a professional or anything, but when you need to talk, I'll always listen. Thank you again. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just hug. It's been weeks since that day. May and I have gotten even closer. I'd even consider her one of my best friends. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. Didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove around to every therapist in town until we could find one she liked. One night, May hugged me by surprise. May? Thank you. Me? <laughs> what for? I, uh, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me. For listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because it was sad, but... I appreciate you. Really. Oh, anytime. Thank you, too. For being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my god, no you. No you. Uno reverse. Later that night, she gave me a note. Both haunting and touching. I read it. I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. The end. Hope. 
is something to look forward to after all. Thank you for playing. Inspired by real life. Oh. Evan and Junji Ito. I wondered about the Junji Ito. Hmm. So I'm guessing this is the best ending. So I went from the worst to the best. That's that's probably about how, how it goes. Um, That almost brought me to tears, and that's really fucking hard to do. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna try and see if I can figure out where the other three endings are then. Just for the sake of completionist's sake, but this, this right here, that's good. I like the way this turned out. Okay, I was actually wrong. There's only four endings in the game. For some reason, I thought it was five, so I have two so far. I think I know where to find one right now, though, and I kind of have to just sort of... I can't get close to Mei, but I still have to help her. I think that might lead to another ending. Okay, here we go. So, in the, uh, in the bathroom, instead of hugging her when she was cutting herself, I just said, okay, even though I felt like a huge fucking dick for doing that. But I think we have our ending. After, we never got close, but the air between us felt lighter. Shortly after, she moved out. I haven't heard from her since. Sometimes, I think about her. Before she left, she'd written me a note. Okay, and that note was the exact same note from, uh, from the previous ending. So it's just, it's just a minor change. Instead of the ending being hope, it's survivor. Even in the darkest days, we can still push on. You know, this ending's fine. Everyone live. They just feel like a big fucking dick for not doing what I think is the right thing in this situation. I, I like the other one better. I'm still, of course, I'm fucking, you know, happy that she she lived, but she never, you know, that's still going to carry with her. And chances are she might still have the darkness in her. Anyway, so that's three endings so far. So that leaves one more. And I think that would be related with the goth girlfriend, but I'm not certain. I'm going to have to do some digging to find it. Okay, so I have an idea on where the fourth and final ending would be. And I think in order to do it, I have to go down the goth girlfriend route. Because I think I exhausted everything on May's route. I think, I think regardless, like, as long as you spend time with May, there's going to be a good outcome, or at least a neutral outcome. And I think as long as I spend time with the goth girlfriend, there's always going to be a bad outcome. And I think... There, there's just two possibilities for where um, where there could be an ending here. One is with the goth girlfriend. Maybe I have an opportunity to leave early. And the other is I don't have an opportunity to leave early. And I call the police instead of opening the door and witnessing it firsthand and everything. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see where that where that leads to, if anything. So okay, here it is then. Um, there was nothing uh, allowing me to leave early with the date, so I'm guessing the end, the other ending here is that instead of opening the door to check on things, I do as the note says and I just call the police. I called the police. I found myself looking down on the scene, disembodied once again. Okay, so what's this going to lead to? Well, I mean, she's, she's already gone, but oh, okay, so it's this scene again. And we're at the funeral. At the funeral, I heard her singing, now sad and slow. I know it wasn't my fault, but I play back this moment anyways. I wonder if I'll ever be able to forgive myself. Would that be what May wanted? The end. Forgive. I'll keep replaying this moment. May would have forgiven me. Can I forgive myself? Fucking hell, man. That's the end of missed messages, then. That's all four endings, as far as I know. And I see it- oh, I see it now with the title screen, with the- the scissors and the blood and then the pool of blood around the two. That's some heavy fucking foreshadowing right there. Fucking hell, man, what a game. Now granted, like, it had four endings, two of them were what I consider to be like the main baseline endings, and then the other two were like branches of those. Or, or like there are very subtle differences between the two, just minor text changes, and that that's fine, that's all. That's, you know, it is what it is. I think this was a lot more heavy hitting than you left me. Um, I don't know, like, I think it's just because like, it's more personalized, you're getting to know these characters a lot more, so they, they tell you their struggles, they tell you their plights, 
and you listen and you know you're you're sitting there reading it and you're responding to it with whichever prompt you desire and and then you see the outcome of it they both send the same message you're not alone there are people there to talk to you can get help it's it's not it's not the end unless if you make it the end i don't know this was a good game though i I quite enjoyed it. The music was fucking fantastic. Um, the artwork, amazing as always. She does an incredible fucking job of everything she does when it comes to drawing. And then of course, you know, making the game on top of that too is fucking achievement in and of itself. And this is like her ninth game or something. I am, I'm noticing there's a lot more focus on like psychology and depression and suicidal thoughts and everything with a lot of her recent titles and you know maybe maybe that's reflective of her as an individual the developer but all in all solid fucking game gives a great message and i enjoyed it so thank you for joining me for missed messages i hope you walk away from this video with some kind of message or enjoyment or whatever from it um take care and i hope to see you around